today, I'm going to be talking about Etsy for bushcraft. Now, I'm sure some people are already aware, I'm sure some of us are already aware of Etsy for bushcrafting, but in my slowness, maybe you could say, I was not entirely aware of Etsy uh, and how many options and different things that Etsy had to offer for bushcrafters and woodsmen as a whole. And I thought that being that I have a fairly faithful viewership, I would just point you guys towards Etsy because of a few reasons for a few reasons you might like some of the equipment there. Now admittedly not everything is a perfect fit for everyone and not everything is bound to work out. I would always recommend you know using your research abilities and using your mind being thoughtful before you get any type of bushcrafting equipment or gear off of Etsy. You know if you obviously see low reviews on a particular handmade knife or piece of kit I'd recommend avoiding it so I'm not saying just go to Etsy whatever you find buy it you know you do want to be careful and cautious but there is a lot of equipment that is on Etsy for bushcrafters and the biggest thing that I like about it is well there's two things I like and that is that one there's a lot of different gear what I mean by that is things like what I'm sitting on here this is made by PNW bushcraft and uh, it's just a simple ground cloth made out of waxed canvas and you know there's stuff like that there's scotch eye augers there's handmade skillets for cooking and just all kinds of unique stuff that if you were to go on amazon and type in you know bushcrafting gear or whatever you're just not going to find these types of things and if you do find things that are similar they're going to be you know very cheap very you know not really quality or rugged you know once again with this ground cloth as simple as it seems you know it's a very durable obviously made in the u.s ground cloth that is probably going to outlast me and so it's something that you could pass on to your grandchildren and ultimately what that means for me is that it's a very durable product and that I'm not going to have to worry about you know doing a field repair or be as worried of doing a field repair because this is really quality equipment and should it rip or should it get torn you know it's the type of equipment that you would actually want to field repair the stuff isn't throwaway garbage you know made out of nylons that are designed to be just tossed once they're you know broken or once they've outlived their usefulness so there's that component to it and then there's also the component of being unique and being different and sometimes it's nice to you know get the same equipment that other people are using especially if they're having success with it but one element that i saw a lot of was things like handmade axes coming out of different countries in europe and you know obviously once again you want to look because not all of the axes I saw on Etsy were made to quite the same specifications of quality. Some, you know, had set screws and you'd want to avoid some of them. So not everything is made equal. But by and large, um, a lot of the handmade axes looked very nice and, you know, on par with the same types of steel being used for the bit and the same type of quality that comes out of things like Gransfors Brooks. And, you know, if you want to show up to a place like Wood Smoke or, you know, any type of bushcraft gathering, you know, everyone's going to have a GBA. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with a GBA. You know, these are good axes. I own several. But, you know, a lot of people are going to have your GBAs, your Holtzbrook, you know, your Wetterlings, uh, maybe a little bit less on the Wetterlings, but, you know, your Holtafurs. Uh, these types of brands that are very common. So it's kind of cool to see other hand forged axes being made and really for about the same price. I mean, there are other companies uh, out there that make very expensive, you know, $500 hand forged axes, or maybe $300. And, you know, that's out of most reasonable people's price range that they would feel comfortable buying an axe for. So in some circumstances, these hand forged axes on Etsy are even cheaper than GBAs. Uh, so you just kind of have to look around and see, you know, what could work for you. But it's pretty cool that you could, you know, order your own axe from another, you know, blacksmith and have it made to the same degree of quality that GBAs are, but it's your own axe. It's made by someone completely different, has a different style, and, you know, they achieve the same 
uh, basic function, but it's something that's completely and uniquely yours. And so that's a pretty cool thing. And unfortunately, I don't have any of those axes to show, but they look from, and from once again, reading the reviews, and not just, you know, five or six reviews, but we're talking, you know, 20, 30 reviews of other people that were very happy with their tools. I can reasonably assess that they're probably pretty good options. So I thought I would throw that out there, you know, more as a kind of PSA video that if you haven't looked at Etsy for bushcrafting equipment and gear and tools, you might give it a look and, you know, see what kind of things you can find. There are tons of pouches, belts, what's going to, you know, things like drop cloths or ground cloths that you can use in numerous ways and you know, do different things with. So there's a lot of equipment on there uh, that's, that can be proven that proves to be pretty useful. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it wasn't too boring. As always, God bless and I'm out.